Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's makeup tutorial is going to be on this look right here. I posted it a few days ago on Instagram and I wanted to bring you guys a tutorial on how I achieved this look. So if you guys would like to see how I got this look, please keep watching. First, I'm taking the e.l.f. Daily Hydration Moisturizer and I'm going to apply this all over my face. For my eyebrows, I'm going to begin by um, adding a little bit of clear brow gel to my brows. I find that this product works better with um, a little bit of brow gel to just stiffen the brows and give the product something to adhere to. And then I'm going to take the little brow pomade in the e.l.f. kit and I'm going to use that to fill in my brows and toward the head of my brow I then went in with the powder um, that's included in the kit and I'm just going to use soft strokes um, to kind of just build up my brow and then I'm going to clean up my brows with my black opal cream foundation and then I'm going to blend away the foundation next I'm going to prime my lids I'm using Urban Decay's primer I could not find well there's different options out there, but this one is like my holy grail, so I just kept with that. So I'm just going to place that all over my lid and then buff it out with my Real Techniques blending brush. And then I'm going to set it with a powder just to give it a smooth base and prep for my eyeshadow. For my eyeshadow, I'm taking the e.l.f. Mad for Matte 2 palette, and I'm going to take the light pink shade, and I'm going to place that into my crease, and this is going to be my transition color, and I'm using my Morphe M441 brush for that. Next, I'm going to take the darker pink, and I'm going to um, apply that right into my crease. I'm using the same brush, and I'm just beginning to really build up my crease area. And then I'm going to take the deep purple color in the palette and I'm just going to apply that to the outer V of my eye and just really building up that color until I get the intensity that I want and I'm using my Morphe M433 brush. Next I'm going to take my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Classic Ivory and I'm going to use this to cut my crease and basically clean up my lid. As I get to the purple, I'm then going to use my finger to blend out the concealer and the purple just making sure that there's not a brook stop that it just transitions smoothly. And then I'm going to go back in with that deep purple and um, intensify my outer V even more. Next I'm going to take the e.l.f. Prism eyeshadows in um, Sunset and I'm just going to apply this like kind of pinky purple color to the middle part of my lid and then I'm going to take this champagne color and I'm just going to pop that right into the inner corner. And then I'm going to take my Q-tip to just clean away any fallout and then I'm going to take my e.l.f black gel liner and I'm just going to create my wing. And then for my lashes, I'm taking the Vegas Nay Grand Glamour Lashes and I'm just going to pop those on. Next, I'm going to take the e.l.f. Poreless Primer. I absolutely love the texture of this primer. I usually don't even use primers, but I wanted to try this out and this basically fills in fine lines and minimizes the appearance of your pores. So it is the bomb. Next, I'm gonna take my e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation, and this is in the shade Caramel. This shade was a little too light for me, so I had to mix it with my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation, and they just mix like a dream. The Maybelline one gave me a little bit more color, which was totally fine, and I usually mix my foundations anyway, so this worked out perfectly, and I love the coverage of these two foundations together. Next, I'm gonna take my LA Girl Pro Conceal and I'm gonna use that to highlight my face. And then I'm just going to blend that out with a damp beauty blender.
For my contour, I'm gonna take my Black Opal Cream Foundation in the shade Beautiful Bronze, and I'm just gonna use that to carve out my cheekbones and place it on my forehead and all of the areas that I wanna contour. And then I'm gonna begin by blending that out with my Real Techniques blending brush and then following through with my Beauty Blender. And like I said, another product that I just could not, I could not trade up for is my Laura Mercier translucent powder. So I did go in with that to set my highlighted areas. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go in with a oldie but goodie. I haven't used this powder in so long. I'm gonna take my Ben Nye Banana Powder and I'm just gonna apply that to um, underneath my eyes. I just kinda wanted to brighten it up a little bit. And then I'm gonna take my e.l.f. bronzer. So I'm gonna use that to bronze my face and just add some color. And then I'm gonna take my face powder. I did use my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark to do this. I'm just gonna apply that all over my face, just make sure that everything is evened out and well blended. And then I'm gonna take my e.l.f. blush in the shade Fuchsia Fusion, and I'm just gonna apply that to the apples of my cheeks. For my highlight, I'm taking Sonia Kashuk's bronzer in the shade Goddess and I'm just gonna apply that to the high points of my cheeks. And for a little extra pop, I went in with the e.l.f. Prism eyeshadow palette and I'm just gonna take that white shade and I just place that right on top of the gold. And then I'm just gonna pop that also into my inner corner of my eyes. And then I'm gonna take the previous colors that I used on top um, and I'm just gonna smoke out my lower lash line, just completing the eye and making sure that everything is blended out. Next, I'm gonna take my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara and I'm just gonna coat the bottom and top lashes, just making sure that my false lashes and my real lashes blend together. For my lips, I'm gonna take the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in the shade Oh Put It On. It's like a deep purple shade and it's really pretty, so I'm just gonna use that to line my lips. Next, I'm gonna take the Anastasia Lip Palette and I'm gonna take the shades five and 10 and I'm just going to mix the two and get this pretty kind of wine color. And then I'm gonna just really blend that into the liner, just making sure that there's like a nice gradient effect. And then I'm gonna finish off my face with a little bit of Fix Plus, and that is it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I absolutely loved how this came out. It's just so bright and pink and Valentine's Day appropriate. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.